Yep, back out. It's been a month since I've been out up the Cairngorms, that, uh, that mad wild camp we did through all the brim and heather and I'm sure you've seen all the videos. But today I'm back up in Northumberland. That's the uh, Cheviot Hill over there. Looking over these cracks here. And I'm out with a local a local wild camping leg end. It's all about the views. Get out and do the wild camping, you know it makes sense. It's all about the views. Look at that man, it's just amazing. Can't quite make out who it is, but it's him. I haven't got much crack, I'm just not at it. <laughs> it was such a climb. You froze. Coming up, aye. Uh, <laughs> Camera guns on your guns, all shy. Aye. I'll do that, mate. Uh, well, I'm pleased to get out. It's been actually a long time, hasn't it, since uh, we've gone out. I think Petty Go Week was the last time we, we did a wild camp. coming for two years ago. Was it that long? Aye. You've aged hard, mate, haven't I know, you? I've had a hard life, aye. especially this morning. Aye. <laughs> it's aged as six months, that. All right. So we're just looking for somewhere to camp, we're just kind of a bit uh, wandering around and... Well, I think we'll do the way of camp here, actually. Aye. Uh, it's just a lovely, like a baby camp. I think it might be a natural break spot for a lot of people though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, the problem is we're right next to the seat. Where people want to come. Yeah. Yeah, so I think but, we'll just crack on and we'll find somewhere. But I wonder, further along the crags, I've been opening them trees. And we can just like, look out of the views because over there you've got the you've head shop with the Cheevy Hills. And you've got head shop, you've got the Cheevy just behind. Familiar with them hills now, I can name all of them. But I won't, it's boring. So we've hiked, we've hiked for 8,000 steps. I don't know how many miles that is. It's a few likes, a couple of, a couple of miles. And we've come across a blooming refugee camp. Now, you either know. Oh, you don't. Well, I'm stuck under the branch. I can't get in. <laughs> I'm stuck. Right. I right, saw. So. People putting their names up. A little home from home. Good little spot like. This is quite a responsible place. Views over there. I mean, somebody with a saw. Chainsaw. <laughs> Massacre. Well, um, we found a spot. Yeah. Wonder what that is. That, that bird looks very yellow. Him. He's up there now. Anyway, this is where we're camping. I'm standing on a big rock. I've put my bag down there. And I'll just come around here without breaking my neck. I'm going to put my bivy bag just along there. In the grass. Damien's going to go over there with his bag. Bivy's no tops. Hardcore. You know the score. There's a little man. There's a little man lurking in the woods. <laughs> this is this is behind the scenes. This is what we've got. This is, this is how we bring nice videos to YouTube and give all of you, the viewers, you know, beautiful photography and time lapses and that. Entertainment. Aye. Entertainment for the masses. Yeah. That's true. Anyway, that's my bed for the night. Yeah, we're gonna get we'll get our stuff out later. We're gonna have a couple of beers first. Like, got some nice beers to try. I've brought Damien some nice Wylam beers to try because he keeps getting a little. I can't stop him. Well, I've got a couple <laughs> of crappy beers, proper ones this time. They're not the horrible ones, more like yeasty ones. Bottles. Ah, oh, they were awful lemons. Ah, they weren't that nice. 
Every, even the different types tasted very similar. They all tasted the same. Uh, and I think basically they all were the same. They're right, just different just bottles. Different, different flavourings on it. <laughs> a couple of drops of flavourings in this one and a couple of different drops in the other one. Put a bit of, put a bit of monkey's blood in that one. Possibly. <laughs> monkey's blood. But look at all the trees. You can't see the wood for the trees here, literally. It's huge. It is massive, isn't it? And yet we've walked, we must have walked three miles from the car to get here. Getting that way, yeah. Easy. And, and, and do you know what it is? Usually it's a long walk, but because we're chatting and enjoying it. Oh yeah. It didn't feel like it was a very long walk. I always find that if you're with somebody, your walks do go a lot quicker, like. Definitely. I, walked, I came up here on my own once and it seemed to take us forever. So, oh, this is a stash. We've got Damien's Galleria. Galerex. It's that cheap uh, Stella Artois coffee. The Stella Artois. Ah. Uh, <laughs> plunged orange pale ale. It's 6% like. I was, yeah, I just I've, I've seen that. Is that Morrison's? I'm, I'm, uh, I think we should taste them there, I'll tell you. Because you may be surprised because they're different prices. And they're different percentages. They're all about six, so you know who's they're just, not like. Who's this assassin, baby faced assassin? I've, I'm pretty sure I've had that one. I'm not quite. Not sure, 100, percent but. But I quite like the Elvis juice, you know, because that's got like the I, orangey that citrusy. And I thought when I, pretty, they, it? when I seen when I seen plunged orange, I thought right, that could be something like an Elvis juice. It's fruity. Aye, ah, fruity. Northern Monk. It's great up north. This is nice. 4.5 Morrison's. Final Pulse. This is a new one from Wylam. That is 6.8%, £5.85 a can. <laughs> Jake Head, supercharged IPA, that's uh, 6.3. Verdi Ping Nil, this is a collaboration with Wylam and Verdant. Verdant do some lovely beer, and Wylam do, so that's a, that's a winner. And it is as well, but it's 8%. We'll keep that one at last. And this one here, is that Hazy Block? Hazy Outdoors. Who's he? Um, I think he does YouTube videos. Oh, him. He's got a I like him. He's got a good channel. He's got a good channel. Like he does some Cali Yeah, yeah reviews, doesn't he? He does. Hazy. And he somehow convinced Northern Monk to do a collaboration with him. He's got a new one out now. It's, a, yeah. um, it's called If You Like Pina Colada. It's an IPA. All right. And it's him in that as well. But it's a John Peeler. Oh, that's a nice novelty. Uh, ah, it's good, and he's got he's got all his details there. Hey, Survival good on tips. Him. He's getting out there. He's doing a bit of wild camping. He's you know he's promoting himself. He knows it makes sense. Excellent. Aye, yeah, fair play to him. Mm -hmm. Well done, Hazy lad. You know it makes sense. I'm just going to try the same with Wylam. I mean, stalker, get out of Wylam. I'll probably tell what about the can, like. But yeah, I'm going to try that one later because it's a stout. So we'll have that later. Here's old nut. It's called Here's Lynn nut. It's something to do with his testicles. <laughs> Does he still go out with uh, that guy? He's uh, his mate. Um, Joy. Joy, yeah, uh, Joy. Yeah. Joy von Bismarck or whatever they call him. They're, they're a good double act, them. Ah, they're hilarious. I watch them. I watch all their videos. It's now. Like, they've got like a dry sense of humour gun between them. You know, like yeah. they're a little bit like Ant and Dec. A bit like Ant and Dec, aren't we? I pet. I pet like Simon Cowell. But I can't wait for you to try that final pulse. That's lovely, that. Anybody who want that, go and get that. It's beautiful. Right. That, is, is, that, is that there's my favourite one. This is probably our best options, Gan. Like, one, like, nine for four. This is what we're on now. This is just a start now. This is just like, you know, when you... Adam, now, you just have a glass of water before you get up the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've got one over there. <laughs> I'm not a snob, but I'm drinking it now. Excellent. I'll drink out me. But my bivvy bag's here. The Alp Kid Hunker's out. Really good bag, I'm just gonna put my top down there and basically lie there. Back to basics this camp. I should do a little bit of filming as well. Like thousands of pounds worth of tents and we'll come and lie in a bunch of weeds. I mean, you know, we'll get out of hilly, I'll get out of hilly bergs now, that's place nice now, but there's a place for a hilly berg. They're a, technical, they're a fantastic high end technical tent. And you know, you, if you're going to camp somewhere in the hills, you've got, and you're going to put Trust your life in a, in a product. If you know it's going to be rough. Yeah, and you, you know you're, it's no good down up in the hills with a, a, a shitty tent. You've got to have something decent, so you know, you're risking your life by buying crap gear, so that's why you buy the decent gear. Yeah. But there's a place for, for them sort of tents, but there's also a place for like a, 
looking at for a wild cup of like a bivy bag. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get in here with a tent. It's just impossible. Well, that's that's it. I'm, I'm like that. I like to mix it up. That top there was only like 50 pence from the pound shop. The bivy bag was, I think it was 49, 50 quid. Yeah. The most expensive item there. If you go to uh, like Little's Aldi, they've got the, um, these big boxes where they try to sell everything up. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen them. These things you put on your carbon screen, I sell them up for a pound. Uh, reflective covers. Cut them down, put them in your bag. I sleep on it, anyway. Reflective mat. That's what I haven't brought actually. But that's well, not matter. Need it the night. But seeing that, it's it's only going to go down to two degrees. We may get a frost. Well, me, me mat there, that orange mat, insulated one. So. So what's your bag? Rated for your sleeping bag? My sleeping bag's my down bag, my rabbit down bag. Is so that a three season, is it? It's four season like. Is it? It looks quite compact. Oh, you, you haven't got that look yet, have I've you? Put, it is pushed into a uh, dry bag. It does go down quite small like. Somebody's got a shotgun over there. Yeah, I heard it. As long as they're staying over there. Hey, I hope it's not going to be like the Hills of Eyes. You ever seen the Hills of Eyes one? I have. Yeah. I haven't seen the new one. I didn't I'm like that. It's really this spot. It's good, isn't it? Potential. Damien's just going to lie there. Yep. Just behind him there, where he is. I'm just going to lie here. And he's going to be no more than five metres away. And we're going to just tack shite all night. It's going to be brilliant. And all day. Yeah. Because we've got all day. In this spot here, you've, you've got air plate. Look at here, you've even got a place where you can put your can. Look at that. That's brilliant, <laughs> that. Ancient Neolithic can holder. And if, it, and if it chucks it down with rain, you can collect water. I yep. mean, there's water now, it's probably a bit stagnant. Better keep your can cool if it fills right. with water. That is probably an ancient pestle and mortar, you know, Neolithic, from the Neolithic times, that. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if there's, you know, there's some cut and ring marks around here. And they could have just had a little little camp here, couldn't they? These trees wouldn't have been here. How many times do you think, right, over the space of thousands of years, our ancestors may have camped on here and done what me and Andy's doing the night, oh. and just sat here and admired the beautiful Northumbrian countryside. Been gone on for centuries, oh. thousands of years. And do you know what it is, Andy? They were proper wild cappers because they didn't have all the modern high gear stuff that we have today. High gear? High gear wasn't invented then. Probably a <laughs> They didn't have... Uh, it might have been, actually. ...bivy bags and that sort of thing. They used to hollow out cows, didn't they? Or sheep? Well, the thing is, you know... Peel a sheep. They're, they're finding people now, like, they, oh. and the, like people look at the bogs and all that, that had... Oh. Quite advanced clothing, they had like weaving and stuff like that. They had like tools that were quite really quite um finely woven and they had like fire making materials. This is during like the uh, like the, the Stone Age times. Oh, aye. This iron pirate that you you strike it, strike the rock against a bit of well, it's iron pirate because it's got like bits of like iron in. So you strike it against the rock and you get sparks. Mm. So they were more advanced, that would give them credit for. I think it's it's all what we do now is all derived from what they did. And you know what it is? They've been doing it for centuries, thousands of years, and we're just thinking we're discovering it now. It's been going on forever, man. And they had the same tech not the same technology, but they had the same um items of the same principle. Like you know, you need a cover, mm -hmm. you need clothing, they need some way to like the fire they probably had some way of like I don't know where I got up to with the last bit for the right, so there's me. It's me basically bed for the night. That top there is in case it starts raining. Just pull it over. Pull it over yourself. Beer's there, we're on my third beer. It's great up north in there. It is. Got the chair set up. Damien on his chair. It's great up north. We've just done a, a beer review of this and I've got to say, it's very hoppy, and it's it's almost like a, um, the hops is nice. And I'm not really one for it. It's like a log. It's like more like a. It's an ale, obviously, but to me, it's more like a very hoppy beer, and it's just it's got flavour and aroma and natural ingredients, no chemicals. Feel citrusy, you know, like uh, uh, I was just trying to think of before, like grapefruity. There's a bit of that in there, right? Eh? I think so. That's, well, that, 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 my taste buds was tasting that and I couldn't think of it. It's subtle, isn't it? Mm. And it's nice. It's not very high alcohol either, so that makes it... Uh, it, it I suppose it doesn't have to be very strong, it's just got to be nice. Oh, I, I, I mean, I've had 3% beers before and they've I mean, been lovely. I mean, spirit is quite strong, but it doesn't taste very nice. No. So you'd rather drink something that's 
palatable, basically. I will drink meth, so. Will you? If I have to. That's why I like it because it's, it's multifunctional, you know, method of spirit. <laughs> what, it's got more than one function, you it's know, what you can do with the survival. You can drink at the end of the day. It's, it's the perfect survival thing. It is. Probably put, put it on your, on your wounds and that, your sterilised wounds and that sort of thing. I'm just crouching down there because I can see that the view behind you, and the bag, your bag there, and your sat there, that's, that's where it's at. Yeah. And you can even take a picture where you're filming, you just click. Uh, Mike Hammond can do that, you know, you just gotta click and it. It, it takes a snapshot. Take a, free, a, a, a still photo while you're filming. Yeah, uh, I mean, will do that, but I don't know but, how. But this is uh, how that works. Wait a minute. my little home for the night. I'll push it. But surely, you know, a bivy bag, you know, I trust it with my life. It's just, uh, it's been with us everywhere. We're well, not everywhere, but if I had to pick one item, I would pick this over me hunk of bivy. I love me hunk of bivy for summertime. And, and it's more of a sleeping bag cover, it's, it's, it's a small one I've got. But this, it's big enough to get your, your kit in, put your put bag down the bottom and I just love it, you know. And it's mm. a bit heavier, but it, it's bomb proof, man, it's just, you know. Wait, the army used them, so that's your... Yeah. Fair enough, that's got a bug neck, but... Bugs, know, eat the bugs, man, eat them. Eat them, I have to come in, just eat them, it's their fault for coming in. It is, that's, what, that's where it's at. And, uh uh, I've got the Alp kit bag, but I'm... Well, you're sensible because you've got the, the, the large, which is um, the one I should get that. XL, that one. XL. XL, that's great, that. I couldn't get in the large. I was tight on it. Funnily enough, Ooh. I'm, I'm five foot five. We're just getting a little bit of a red sky over there. It's coming through nice. Lovely sky. Birds are singing. Oh, we're lying on the ground tonight, but who cares? We're happy. We're watching alien activity. Oh, look at this. Nope. Some alien stuff going on. I'm just zooming on this. It's the weather station. Ugh. No idea what this is like. Flickering lights. Oh. I can't keep zooming in. The problem with it, with that it's zooming in. I think it's definitely aliens. But I just hope they stay over there. It could be ET, the extra testicle. It could be. <laughs> Right. It's weird, like, that's a weather station, it's like an RAF base, but I don't know what all them lights are. But anyway, they're far enough away not to bother us. Yeah, so we're just chilling out here. We've got Craig Charles on. I don't, know, I think, I don't think we're going to get a shout out. <laughs> Damien there, he's excited because there's aliens. There's no aliens. There's no aliens. There's no aliens. There's birds are like, give them a little song before bed. And we've got a lovely red sky going down over there. So it's all good. Only problem is we're sleeping in bin bags. That's my bed for the night. <laughs> Cracking. Love it. Now before one of your videos, because I do watch your videos. Do you? No, it's something. I wouldn't watch them the shit. <laughs> I don't watch yours. You don't have them you. Morning campers. Heidi hi. Out. So we've we'll walked up to the views. It's 8 o'clock now. Tossed and turned a bit. Well, we tossed a bit. <laughs> Woke up with a sore backside this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was here, but I woke up with a sore backside. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, right. Look at it. The shape of that. That's right. the mat in the bag. <coughs> Just turns around like it's any good. But I slipped all right because of the heather, though. You know, it was soft yeah, enough. That's exactly what it is. I never felt it before. Yeah. If I'd been on the stool, I would have felt it. Oh, aye. But yeah. Uh, we're just packing away now because we don't want to be disturbed as people on the path we've left the right mess. We're going to leave all these cans. <laughs> if we don't, we do. Yeah, we we'll always leave cans, we're not going to bother picking them up. The hell with it. <laughs> well, it's so people can see what, what fun we have. They can see what fun we've had and then they can be happy for it. If we leave, we're rubbish. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically all I've got to say. Just have views over there. That's the North Sea over there, the Northumberland coast. Right, we'll crack on.